Man, what a roller coaster this weekend's been. It's high, it's low, it's rainy, it's apparently tornado weather just south of me. I didn't get hit, I'm okay. Just a little bit of rain, saw it coming, holy crap. Since it's a lousy weekend, and it's a long weekend. It's crazy, today's May 2-4, well, May 23rd, but yeah, May 23rd. So up here in Canada called the May 2-4 weekend, which for me is sad because I'm not drinking anymore and that's usually a good time to get lit, but I'm not. Anyway, I was at home and doing some learning on Xcode and fixing some components on my computer. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. I've been dealing with this little problem for a little while. It's not really even a problem. It's just something that's driven me crazy. For years, I had a Mac Pro Tower. Great machines, fantastic at the time, 2006. It lasted me a long time. Fantastic machine. Thing is, there's bays for four hard drives. So I had my main boot volume, which was an SSD, and then I had four data drives. Well, a year ago, I got rid of that and got my Mac Mini. M1 Mac Mini, great machine, super fast, so much better than my Mac Pro Tower, speed-wise, even though more processor. But this is an M1, and this has got all the bells and muscles going on. Small problem. No space to put in my hard drives, because it looks like this. Itty bitty. So I got a Thunder Bay from OWC, other world computing. They have great add-ons for Macs and great updates for Macs. I got one and it was it was good. You know, it gives me good throughput. It's Thunderbolt, uh, so Thunderbolt 3. So it gives me good speeds through all my drives. All my data is available to me. Fan was a little loud. So I have it. I, I was doing some changes to my desk and get everything sorted out because I'm doing more streaming these days. So I've got the mini on top of the desk and the Thunder bay underneath and i'm doing some stuff and i'm going of the fans and this is insane well it, it it sounded like this i'm not sure how much of this you can hear but that's this noise of the fans of this thing running when it's got power and it's connected to the computer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that instead now this fan comes with several adapters this is a low noise adapter and this is a very low noise adapter so it just plugs in here it just what it does it just ramps the the speed of the fan down a little bit more to make it a little quieter and there we are with the new quieter fan installed um quieter yes uh, not a lot quieter but Enough for me to notice. Uh, this is just under my desk as I'm working, and yeah, the noise is a little bit much. So this is, I think, a great upgrade. So that's it in a nutshell. Basically, I, I'm not going to give you a take apart because, well, it's it's stupid easy. It's two screws at the top, the fan comes out, unplug the connector, put the wires back on, put it back in. Like, if you can't figure that out, this is not an upgrade for you. But so far, this is a great little improvement to the situation because it's not so loud now i'm doing a lot of stuff with as i said learning an xcode and having that fan running in the background all the time is a little annoying and now it's gone from a fan noise of about here to fan noise of about here it's not a huge amount of change but it's enough to make my life a whole lot better so if you're looking at doing this um there's a picture of the fan in that video it, just get it off amazon if you were looking for it yourself just uh, drop me a quick line and I will tell you exactly, you you know, I'll give you a link to the Amazon uh, seller I got it from. It came in next day. It was like a non-issue and it took me a day around, or two to get around to it just because I was doing other things. So that's the video today. Uh, something a little bit more sort of in tune with this channel and what I'm trying to do. A little more tech support, a little tech support -y. And uh, yeah, it's just these little things make life so much better. So that's it for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. I hope uh, my fellow Canadians are enjoying their day off. Uh, back to the grind tomorrow. But hope you're all enjoying this. And, you know, better things are coming because, well, we're near the end of May. That means June. And June's a great month because that's my birthday. Not the whole month. Just one day. So, everyone, have a great day. We'll talk to you all.